hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do compound interest. Now when we had done simple interest, I told you that the first thing you do is you always write down your pain. Number two, you decide which formula you need and then you substitute. Now these three rules are the general rules for all interest that you will do. Even later on, you'll see, it will always start with fill in your pain, use your formula, substitute. There will be small adjustments in between as you get to the bigger grades, but the core is fill in your pain, you decide which formula you're gonna use and substitute. If you're looking at this question, our P is 15,000 Ren. Our N is six years and our I is 12%. But what is interesting is the word compounded. Compounded means we are using a different from formula from the standard formula that you have been using in simple interest. What you would notice is the N is a power. It is not inside as your previous formulas. Whereas in, in your simple interest formula, the N was inside. Now, you're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to fill in our pain. P is 15,000. Our A we don't have. I, I is 12%, which I like to write as a fraction. And N is 6 years. Now, substitute what we have. Then, press it into your calculator. Now, you're going to press 15,000, open brackets, 1 plus, and then the fraction, 12 over 100, close brackets, and then you're going to use the power button. It is X and then it has a little square on it to the power of 6. Now, compound interest, once we have the A, that is not how much interest he paid. That means at the end of 6 years, in the bank, he will have 29,607 rand. 34 cents. But if they continue to ask you what was the interest he received, you know that he had paid in 15,000 rand. So if I only want the interest, I have to subtract the 15,000 rand. Which means that the interest he received was 14,607 rand. 34 cents. When they're doing this question, they like to use the same formula but give you a different unknown. Take the following example. Right, look at the following question. It tells us that an amount of 12,000 Rand was invested over a period of six years and it grows to 21,250 Rand. Calculate the interest rate if it is compounded annually. So, number one, we're going to start with our pain. Look at what we have. We have our P, which is 12,000. We know that our A is 21,250. We don't have our I, but we have that N is 6. So number one, we filled in our pain. Number two, which formula? We know it is a compound formula because they had used the word compounded. Now, we simply substitute what we have. We have that A is 
is equal to 21,250 Rand is equal to 12,001 plus. We don't have our I, but we have that our N is 6. So we substituted what we have. Now we need to solve. When you're doing this, your algebra is important. You must make sure you know how to solve for X. If you are not familiar with solving for X, then you have to go to your previous videos where we had discussed solving for X in detail. Now our unknown is the I. So we're going to first get rid of the 12,000 by dividing 12,000. Right, I had told you earlier that I prefer fractions in financial maths. When you round off too early, your answer is incorrect. So the safest way is usually to leave it in a fraction form. Now how do I get rid of the 6? You 6 root it. There is a specific button on your calculator where it's got a root and then it's got two squares. So you're going to 6 root both sides. So what you would have had is 1 plus i is equal to, and then you'd press this in your calculator. So you're going to press shift, and then you're going to press that specific root sign. And then you're going to press 6 on the top power, and inside you're going to press 85 over 48. Which will give you 1 comma 0999. Then it's a matter of solving for i. So we're going to take our 1 over and subtract. So we'd have i is equal to 1 comma 0999 subtract 1. Giving us that i is equal to 0 comma 0999. Now let's look at this. Is this the interest rate? The norm is that I is always equal to the amount that they give you over 100. So what we're doing is we're going to place the 0, 0,999 into I. Like simultaneous equations that were discussed under solving for X. So we got 0, 0,999 is equal to our i over 100. Now to get rid of the 100 we're going to multiply by 100 and what you do on one side you do on the other. So our interest rate is actually 9,99 rounded off we have an interest rate of 10 percent. Now usually most children stop at this stage. But you must remember that your answer must be multiplied by 100 to get the correct interest rate. Thank you for watching.